Hey folks, let's investigate a concept breaking into cosmology and which we'll attempt to extend a bit as well. Bose-Einstein condensates form at exceptionally low temperatures, where a gas drops to a low energy state, and forms something like a giant molecule, where the subatomic constituents of the atoms are basically part of a larger whole, where it all blends together, much like an ultra-cold plasma. Earlier this year, we saw that the math works such that large-scale Bose-Einstein condensates in the cosmos could stand in for the missing mass, the dark matter. This is intriguing not only because it would be normal matter and not some exotic new particle, but also because deep space is an excellent arena for the creation and maintenance of large-scale Bose-Einstein condensates. Now, we want to add an element to this puzzle. We have Rydberg polarons. A Rydberg atom is a highly energized one such that it inflates electromagnetically and the outer electrons orbit vastly far from the nucleus such that other atoms could actually fit inside, hide inside the inflated Rydberg atom. When one atom or more is hiding inside, it is called a Rydberg polaron. Strong photoionization from stars, supernova, and other space events can highly energize the frigid matter in space, and so we actually have the perfect environment not only for Bose-Einstein condensates, but for Rydberg polarons as well, and for them to be in existence at large scale in the universe. They would be virtually undetectable to us, and they could even be helping to hide other matter inside itself in the case of the Rydberg polarons. The math suggests that these alone could constitute dark matter and the driving force known as dark energy, and they'd be completely resulting from mass and force in the normal universe. Now, with that in mind, I want to introduce you to two kinds of instabilities that may be relevant to the formation of the non-Bose-Einstein condensate structure of plasma, kink instabilities, and Raleigh-Taylor instabilities, with the help of Yelverton's lab.
Now let's bring this all together. The kink instabilities of self-collimated plasma current was demonstrated at Caltech a decade ago, but they never released their videos. All there is on the video front is what you saw from Yelverton's lab in that principle of plasma currents in a vacuum. They will seek parallel courses, they will collimate, and they will kink together and seek to reform their collimation after breakage. It has been shown that cosmic jets take on these characteristics, they are driven by electromagnetic forces, and that the material disks, often called accretion disks, are acting as the electrode for the current carrying flux tubes that collimate and kink over distance. A stagnation principle in the flow dictates that both excess current and extended distance of the flow could result in those instabilities. Another word on the filament inside an explosion idea. I realize that the Big Bang conflicts with electric and plasma cosmology, and that's hard to overcome. But you must remember, it is the math of the process that's in conflict along with the concept of a beginning of time, and there being nothing beforehand in terms of matter, not even empty space, they say, before the Big Bang. If, however, the Big Bang was just a scaled-up, previous-generation supernova of a megastar, surrounded by trillions and trillions of light-years of Bose-Einstein condensate, the cosmos would look like the inside of the novas we see today from our perspective, which reproduce scaled-down versions and which we could not see outside for numerous reasons, if we're in a large one. I'll be exploring much more evidence for these topics presented here, especially to the possibility that before the Big Nova, which would be the Plasma Universe version of the Big Bang, and would probably just be one of many over such great distances, the nothingness beforehand, again, is replaced by Bose-Einstein condensate, if not interaction with Rydberg polarons. Now, this is really cool stuff, and there's more to come. But I hope that you were able to get your head around not only the idea of Bose-Einstein condensates in the super cold environment of space, the idea of atoms hiding within other atoms and Rydberg polarons and all they need is the photoionization that happens in the universe basically since it began. What we see in terms of the cosmic web is essentially kink instabilities that could be resulting from collimated plasma and the magnetohydrodynamic pumping which can result in excess currents in the different kinks and twists appears to be what you would have if the Big Bang was actually more like a big nova of an original superstar, something like that. Lots to get our heads around, lots to still explore, but once again, hopefully you've got your mind at least stepping into the door with these topics. Be safe everyone.